Hey guys, here's my 19 tip burner prototype. Of course, when I get all the bugs worked out, I'm going to make an actual burner with this tip configuration. Uh, with all these tips soldered in the copper tubing. And uh, that way I won't have the chance to see anything melting. Because uh, right now, all these tips are just stuck in a rubber hose and stuck through this wood. The only thing that keeps the uh, uh, rubber just from completely melting off of them is the uh, the wood. I got it wet and everything so it don't uh, but uh, this is putting out an amazing amount of heat and uh, I'm doing about uh, I done a liter per minute test a while ago I was doing uh, about 3.2 uh, liters a minute the lowest I have uh, had this to run with uh, and keep all the tips burning is 2.3 liters a minute Right now I'm using, I'm consuming 498 watts of electricity, and uh, I could about use this for a dang space heater right here. This thing puts out some good heat, man. I can hold my hand up two foot above it and feel the heat. But uh, I'm just going to do a little instant steam thing real quick uh, with that same plate I done the other day. I ain't going to have the flames touching them. The flames are going to be pretty good ways from the uh, metal. The flames ain't even near touching the metal. But uh, I just stuck it on there. Look at that. That quick. This thing is putting out some major heat, man. Some major heat. Using the monster cell, of course. Ain't nothing like the monster. But uh, that the flames ain't even touching the metal. That's what uh, but man, this heat just output on this right here, just uh, 3.2 liters a minute is just absolutely amazing with 19 tips. I haven't done no cooking experiments with it yet. I still got some bugs to work out. I got a couple of the tips I need to take back out and uh, uh get the holes a little smaller on them. Because uh, there's three of them I've been having problems with. So if I use my cutoff valve I got over here with the 19 tips, I get a flashback. And uh, and I had a couple flashbacks last night, so I, I stuck in some uh, stuff right here. That way, it don't go all the way back to my bubbler, which it don't matter because I got a reset bubbler anyway. But I like to keep it minimal. But uh. I worked on this last night, got it done. Instant steam. I'll tell you man, this right here has got some major possibilities. Let's see if I can get that off there without burning myself. There you go. 19 tips. Let's see if I can put this board up here so you can maybe, maybe the flames are you can see the flames a little bit better maybe. Let me crank it up. Oh, I've got one tip out. Just, the outer ones seem to go out every once in a while. I don't know why. But I'm going to crank it up a little bit. Last night I've been having problems with a couple of leaks because I got this stuff uh, just rigged up with hoses and tees and all kind of mess. And it, but uh, It's cranked up now. I'm up to seven. I got, I'm drawing seven amps. Should be about 124 volts at where I got the uh, connection at. And, uh, I'm getting good, nice blue flames. 19 tips. Let me cut it back down to 3.2 liters a minute. I'll have some more uh, cooking comparison experiments soon. Uh, comparing this with the, with my you know stovetop burner with the equipment, the small burner. Uh, this right here is about the same perimeter, a little bit smaller perimeter than that. But uh, there it is, 19 tips, 3.2 liters a minute. No flashbacks while it's burning. The only time I've had a flashback is when I cut it off with the valve. But uh, when I was only doing the 9 tips, it never flashed back not one time. That thing would be running, I could cut it off, I could be running 6 liters a minute. 
I cut it off, never flashed back. But uh, this one here is not doing the same thing. So there you go, guys. Any comments or suggestions would be greatly appreciated. And uh, this right here is just neat, man. I'm going to try. Well, I'll add, I'm going to add another video. I'm, I'm going to go out and get a bigger piece of metal I got in the yard. And I lay this thing on the side and lay it up on the side. That way the water can run off. And I'll see how the steam does on that real quick. I'm back. I got all the flames turned on the side now. I got this big piece of metal I'm going to stick up here. I can do it without putting any tips out. That way the water can water can run down. I'm using the uh, same amount of gas, 3.2 liters a minute. That's a lot of the heat's coming out the top though. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know. That's not working too hot. I guess because I'm losing a lot of heat. Nah, I just put a tip out, I think. There we go, that's working good there. But anyway, you see the point. Stick this baby up right. Put one or two of the tips out there. And this stuff will burn the fire of you. I'm burnt my hand two or three times. Play it around. I got some uh, water vapor there on it, and that's why it turned orange. That's it, guys. Like I said, I'll have some more food experiments.